Step by step, Congress is trying to avoid Groundhog Day again. Yeah, on the one hand, they brought the bacon home to North Carolina, but on the other, there are a few more mountains to climb. I asked one of our local members of Congress if he thinks they'll get it done. While Congress continues to deal with the budget as proverbial piecemeal, last week's funding package did bring home around $14 million for Congressional District 13. That includes parts of Wake, Johnston, Harnett, and Wayne counties. The funding secured by Congressman Wiley Nickel includes $1 million for Go Triangle's zero emission bus fleet plus $330,000 for police equipment and tech for the town of Selma. Smithfield gets $124,000 for body cameras and data storage. The town of Cary gets $1.9 million for stormwater and water quality. Holly Springs, $959,000 for water infrastructure. But the stickier points of the budget are still being hashed out. I represent 49,000 veterans in the 13th Congressional District, so veterans' health care is always a huge priority for me and making sure that we continue to, to do the things we need to do for our national security. Nichols says the defense budget will have a direct impact on North Carolina's military bases and posts. The defense industry is especially important for North Carolina. You know, we've got Fort Liberty you know, just outside of my district. So making sure that we continue to do the things we need to do uh, on the national security front is incredibly important. Nickel is not running for Congress again after new election maps make it all but impossible for a Democrat to win. But he says not having to campaign comes with a silver lining for his constituents. I've got so much more work I want to do, and this just frees me up to do more work on the public policy side to bring back, you know, results for the people who sent me to Washington. I made a commitment, and I'm going to do everything I can to run through the finish line. While it may be the most divisive subject in Congress, he still holds out hope that border legislation can get passed. I'm hopeful that we can finally you know, bro fix a broken immigration system and secure our southern border. There's a, a very large bipartisan group in the House and Senate in the middle that wants to do that. So what's the deadline on the next parts of the, bu the budget? So the 22nd of March, so not this Friday, but the following Friday. And they're also hoping to figure out something when it comes to aid to Ukraine, as well as Israel, as well as Taiwan. All of that combined into defense and homeland security. All right. Perhaps separately from all of the above. Right. All yeah. right. We'll follow it. Russ, thanks. Yeah.